welcome to this video and in today's video we're going to be setting up EETV at the moment just basic TV that's on so we set this bad boy up new socks uh, <laughs> don't know why I said that uh, we're going to be setting this up but first I'll be literally setting it up with you I've not tried it and you can hear my bird in the background sorry about that he wants to be on the video um, so I'll set this thing up with you unbox it plug it all in and we're going to go from there uh, the broadband is there it's running you can see the light, little light flashing to say the internet's on uh, that cable there is just going to my network switch i haven't had time to cable it there's no point because that's not staying there it's going to go down there i've only put it up there temporary so i was just plugging everything in i was trying to wait for virgin to deactivate so i can get rid of all these cables uh look all, just seriously look at all this mess this is all virgin media cables and there's only two cables here for EE, which is mad. Anyhow, uh, let's get into this. I'm going to unbox, take, take the, the thing out of the box, and then we will set it up. So, put the lid off. Uh, you guys already know what this looks like inside. You saw an unboxing. If you haven't, I highly recommend you go watch that unboxing. Uh, you can see what it's like for the first time to unbox one of these. So let's just get all the equipment out. Back guys, I had to snap the box. I was like, no, I had to snap it. I don't like breaking boxes. I like to keep my my stuff in mint condition. Uh, I'm a bit of a OCD freak like that. All right, let's go plug all this stuff in, and we'll be right back. All right, got all my ports in, so let's go and plug it in. So I'll set it all up and everything. Uh, we're gonna go through this by ourselves. Now the batteries are in the remote. It does feel pretty good. Um, you're a few steps away from enjoying a new TV experience, so let's go. Now, do I want to do this Wi Fi or over the Ethernet? Uh, I have got an Ethernet cable, and I'm thinking I want to do it. Should I do it over Wi Fi? Let's do it over Wi Fi. So, sorry guys, there was a jump cut there. I've gone to get a Ethernet cable, uh, I was going to do it over Wi Fi. But I just can't be bothered, I'd rather do it over the Ethernet and be quicker. So there we go, the Ethernet cable is in. And we're going to go to continue with the Ethernet cable and let's just see what happens. It's such a mess down there, guys. Look, check all these cables out down there look there's just so many cables that e that EETV box is just gorgeous it reminds me I don't know if anyone back in the day had home choice uh, before they were brought out by talk talk I don't know if you guys remember that uh, actually I think they were brought out by someone else uh, so uh, it was like the same box design but it was metal like a Apple Mac sort of metal uh, it was called home choice that was the best TV provider there was um, not connected okay one second guys another quick jump cut so it looks like you have to be connected directly to the ethernet uh via let's try and move this the actual modem their modem um i did connect it to the virgin one to see what happens it says it's not connected to the ee network which is pretty cool but it just does show you need ee tv to be connected to their broadband uh, it's doing a update now if there is, if this is going to be a long update, I will have to do another jump cut. I don't want you guys sitting through a long ass update. That's one thing I don't want you guys doing. And I've just noticed you guys are facing up. So guys, we are now back to the high screen. So it's done the update. Let's go. Uh, it should detect the Ethernet connection. Uh, let's see what happens again this time. Hopefully it's not another update. Um, it's all up to date. Create a pin. You need to create a... Okay, that's easy. Me and my wife use the same pin for our phones and they do the same thing uh, by switching on. So we've got to go through all this. Uh, we're going to do content unlocked. Uh, it's scanning the channels, as you can now see, looking for channels. My aerial is plugged in. Uh, for some reason it's saying zero tv signals which is a bit old my aerial is plugged in uh, if it's not going to work that way i'll just have to reconnect it another way um in eight minutes at this point so 
So now we're going to do the uh, continue bit. So it's I can record two programs at the same time, which is cool if I continue with replay. Alright, so if I continue with replay, I only can record two channels at the same time. But if I go without replay, I can record four channels at the same time. But it's saying if I go with replay, I can uh, record anything during the last seven days, go back and watch it. But there's no point in doing that, I've got to catch up built into it. So I'm going to continue without, and there you go. It, this is a very nice experience. I don't know what it is. It just feels nice. It feels tidy. Do I want to do a tour? Uh, I'm going to say no thanks for that. Uh, but let's go up to live TV. You've got your recordings there. You've got your replays. Uh, you can search. You've got your settings and everything. Let's go down to uh, so you've got multi-screen, so if I have this on my iPhone, I can watch this in another room while my wife watches another program, which is cool. Let's uh, go to the settings. You've got information as status, TV signals and, and everything. So replay, recordings. Uh, this is just basic settings, full HD which is cool, frequency, it gives you the frequency which is pretty cool as well actually. Um, let's click on that. So you've got full HD mode, 50 hertz, full HD, 60 hertz, uh, which I am actually going to go to 1080, 1080 because I don't know if you guys can actually see this or not. Um, as it was only on 10, 1080i uh, and I want 1080p. So, so there you go guys, I'll just switch it to the full HD, jump cut again. Uh, it just takes a while to uh, do stuff, but so let's go back. Hey, this, that just gives you basic information about your IP and stuff like that, and if you're connected to the internet. Uh, let's go to On Demand. You've got, got the, This is bright. I don't know if you guys are picking this up. This is really bright. See the eyes. Uh, Demand, YouTube, Rookatoon TV, iPlayer, Hey You. Box Now TV. I am interested in the Now TV one, it means I don't have to use my Now TV box at all anymore. It's just on here, which is nice. Uh, BBC, which I hope I can remove. I'm not watching BBC. And then you've got all these uh, ones out here. You've got more apps. Let's have a look at these. Uh, you've got goes by options at the top. As you can see, you've got options, kids, videos just along here. Sorry about the big fat finger. Uh, you've got music apps, sports. And let's see what YouTube is like on this box, whether you get a good quality YouTube or not. Uh, let's see how long it takes to load up. I ain't really bothered about this because I've got YouTube on my, built into my TV anyway, so therefore I'm not really that bothered about it. I am happy with this so far. It says I've signed out. You're signed out, okay, that's okay. Uh, so let's go to, uh, this is the new intro video, let's just load that up and see what it does. You can see me there, hello. Uh, I've noticed it is a bit slow. Um, I don't know whether it was just the advert that I was playing before. Uh, but there is no sound coming through. Uh, the volume bar is going up and I don't know whether, okay I know what's going on. One second guys. Right, I'm going to go back onto that video and now there is sound coming through. Right, yes I was just dancing. Uh, right, it, it has immediately connected to my home cinema system. Uh, again, I'm not, quite, I'm not surprised about that because it's connected through the HDMI and that HDMI does go to the TV, but then there is a cable that goes to my home cinema system, so it does support surround sound, by the way, because um, you guys ain't in the room, you can feel it, but there is surround sound there. The remote is very responsive, uh, let's see if I can, right, I'm not even pointing the remote at the, the box, and it's working perfectly. There you go, YouTube works, oh, you've got iPlayer there, and then you've got another BBC one there, I don't know why there's two BBCs. Um, 
But I have noticed there is no Channel 4, there is no uh, ITV or anything like that, uh, which is a bit weird. Okay, there's more apps. Oh my god. Right, you've got the what's new. This tells you what's new on the telly, obviously. You've got uh, Now TV stuff there and all this. So, this is my first time using this, so I'm not going to see all this stuff at first. Uh, it tells you what's new on movies as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you've got Gold TV player, which is cool. I like to watch that channel. Me and my wife watch that every day. Go to all apps and let's see what's in actually there. You know, there's live TV. Now that jumping or picture is the aerial on my roof playing up, uh, so don't worry about that. Uh, as you can see in the top corner, I give you the live. It says live TV as the time that does vanish, as you guys can see. And if you push the guide, it comes up with a nice guide, uh, and it has like a little fading bit to say what the time is, so you know uh, it's nearly past that hour, that half hour. But let's go. Okay, it's coming up with gold. So do we get gold as well? Okay, so by looks of it, guys, there was a jump cut again. There is a subscription you can do with them. Uh, provided by TV Player Plus, uh, this is TLC, but you can get these channels free. Uh, it says uh, you can get a subscription to some main channels here. Uh, let's have a look at this. You get 25 premium channels, it's £5.99 a month. That is not bad for 25 premium channels, live TV and catch up. No contract. Visit tvplayer.com, e sign up, TV, no sign to sign up, use code. And you get one month free, which is pretty cool. There is a code there if anyone would like to use it. Uh, go to this website and you can get free. Um, I think I might sign up to this. This seems pretty cool. I like this. Uh, so I'll get the basic premium channels as I would with Virgin and Sky or anything like that. Uh, there you go. You've got pay channels uh, at the top. So let's just see what happens if I go back. If it will let me go back, please. We've got live TV recordings, so let's go to live channels. So these are all the channels that are live right now. Obviously, some of these are going to be part of the premium package. 